Welcome back to Wasteland 2. We continue to inch ever closer to the Temple of Titan. So we just found this camp here. Bunch of cowboys and somebody who can actually take my stuff, which is very good because all of my people are weighed down and very close to being overloaded. So there's a bunch of different pathways to go for. I think there's three or four ways. There's this way, there's this way up here, and then there's two ways down here or something. I can't even remember anymore. But anyway, let's just go down and see what's going on with this camp here. We must be getting close, because these are the actual monks. Whereas before I was encountering the raiders. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it looks like I just skipped around the back of the raiders. You know, if I came up behind them... And they would obviously start shooting me. I mean, they would start shooting me even if I came in front of them, but... If I came behind them, they would start shooting me, and I wonder if these monks would back me up. I don't think they would, actually. Because we're not actually protected under Titan's peace, nor are they. Because they don't have any... Monk suiciders. Or any brothers with them. I guess they just wouldn't care. I don't like this thing. You know, I've got a lot of catnip, but I've never seen a single cat. I've seen dogs, but not a cat. I wonder if I could use... If I found a cat, I suppose I could use Animal Whisperer on it. But could the cat actually defend me in combat? I suppose it doesn't have to. I mean, the goats never did. Maybe I could tame a mountain lion or something. Ooh, that would be cool. Maybe I'll find a snow leopard somewhere around in this desert. Probably not. How's it going, cowboys? What the hell did you just say? Blibble squeak. Piff. Huh? <laughs> Look, I'm trying to make sense, sense of this. Blibble squeak piff. Furp. I don't even know. What is furp? Are, are they burping? Are they farting? Are they dying of sickness? Are they speaking some sort of alien language? Is this some sort of cowboy language? Hello? What the fuck? Somebody talk to me. Hey, there you go. Some actual words. How about some more beans, Mr. Taggart? Oh. That's what those noises are. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Reckon I'm glad to meet you, Rangers. Name's Taggart. I'm the foreman of these ruminating roughnecks here. We just dropped off about ten head of cattle in DeMonta. Stopping here to resupply. If you've got anything you want to put up for trade, I have a few odds and ends you might be interested in. I don't care about what you have to sell, but I do want to sell you stuff, so please have lots of money. You don't. But you do have pants and clothes, which I actually really, really need. Oh my god, all my people are going to look like cowboys. Amigo jacket, amigo pants, and amigo hat. Well, I suppose it's better than what we've got. Okay, how many pairs of stuff do we need? Uh, three? If I count Yulia? She doesn't technically need clothes, but she's wearing some weird stuff. Uh, I suppose I'll get it all. Okay. And that is really it. I was going to leave him with five scrap. Thank you, sir. Okay. Let's get suited up on our Amigo pants. Who needs it? 
Actually, is it three people that need it or just two? I know you need it and Yulia needs it. Was there someone else? Oh, Harper needs it too, right? Oh, that's right. I gave him the coat. So he, he actually looks pretty badass. I guess he doesn't really need it. So he's good. Theodore definitely needs it, though. I probably won't give him the hat, but we'll see what it looks like. Okay. Oh, he's already wearing the Amigo pants. They actually look pretty cool. I'm definitely going to leave him with a lab coat, since that totally fits him. Eh, looks kind of cool. We'll leave that on. Okay, you. You have nothing. That is the lace bustier. That is not what I wanted to put on. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Looking pretty cool, Theodore. And what about that? Uh, sure. Also, how come I can see through the back of his head? See that right there? A little, it's really, really tiny, but there's like a little bit right between his hair and his neck where you can see through. That's creepy. And you? She looks kind of badass, but kind of weird. I don't feel like this is something she would actually wear as a character. Doesn't really fit her personality. She's a very practical person. There we go. And I won't give her the hat, because her hair looks awesome and it would be hard to identify her if she had the hat on. Where even is the hat? Oh, there it is. Yeah, that makes her a lot harder to identify, although she does have a flashing thing on her back because of the energy weapon, but nah. Okay. Looking pretty cool. Are we finally to the place? This looks like we're nearing it. This looks like the front entrance to the courtyard to the actual place. Brother Roy Parsons is looking a little bit... touchy. I wouldn't want to piss them off. Rangers, halt! Keep your weapons sheathed or you will be annihilated. You were seen killing those under the protection of Titan. We are well within our rights to destroy you here and now. But Titan is a forgiving god, and is inclined to be merciful. If you are inclined to be generous, the cost of your tribute has doubled. You must now bring us three more canisters of radioactive sludge, as well as forfeiting any ill-gotten nuke grenades you've acquired. Do you agree to these conditions? Sure. Very wise. Your tribute will be six containers of sludge. Bring them to us, and you may enter the temple. I already blew up all of my nuke grenades. But they just said forfeit any that you've acquired. Maybe, maybe it's just if you have any on you, you have to forfeit them? Because, I mean, I've blown them up. I can't unblow them up. Well, shit. That just made me realize. Unless I'm mistaken, there is only three more containers of sludge that I've seen. Which means if I gave that Dale guy one sludge so that he could pay tribute... Would that mean that I can't actually do this? There might be some more containers of sludge, though. Maybe I miscounted, or maybe there's somewhere else that has one. Anyway, uh, maybe I could butter them up or something. Can I, is there any special thing I could do? I could try to talk them into making an exception. <laughs> no, you're in trouble, motherfucker. Let's not say that. Uh, can't hurt to try, right? Unless they try to kill us. But we do have some good talkers, so let's try it. 
Yeah, uh, we're still short on sludge. Think you could make an exception for us? I'm afraid not. These gates won't open until you return with the tribute we asked for. Sorry. Okay. And they give us more containers, right? Yeah. What the hell is that? I'm seeing, like, a highlightable object under the ground. F far, far under the ground. Lots of weird stuff. That's a fucking nuke right there, isn't it? It looks like a cone. An enormous concrete hatch covers a tunnel straight down to the god of the mushroom cloud. Yeah, that's the nuke. That's the nuclear missile. Alright, let's go get some sludge. I kind of want to kill these assholes, but it's not really much of a reason to. Alright, so there's one over here. <laughs> All the debris is still floating in the air. Okay, there's one more over here, right? Yeah. And since I'm coming over here, I guess I might as well get this. Actually, no, it's not that easy, because I have to get through here if I want to use the shortcut. Otherwise, I'll have to go all the way around. Eh, it's not worth it. I don't really want to waste a grenade trying to blow this thing up. Faster, people, faster! And I think the third one is actually back in the last zone, if I remember correctly. Hey, what is this? Oh, I dropped that because of weight. Yeah, I guess I'll leave it. Whatever. It's not worth much. Okay, so yeah, the third one is back in the last zone, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Yep. Okay, well that's pretty straightforward, but it's gonna take a it's gonna take a little bit of running. So I'm gonna cut right now and I'll be right back. Right. I forgot. We don't have any protection anymore, which means they can just openly shoot us. Um. Okay, our group is unfortunately a bit spread out. This is a little bit awkward, but uh, I think we can manage. Who's going first? My sniper! <laughs> My sniper is the one leading the charge. That's brilliant. Normally I'm worried about the lobbers, but we're not really grouped together all that much. Then again, I do have the best chance to hit him, so I might as well. Yeah. Just try to get far away. Okay, let's burst. Why is it so hard to hit you? Oh, because you're close, and you also have a height advantage. Why is it so bad? Oh, nearby enemies. Oh, plus, I think Theodore is too far away to give... Yeah, he's too far away to give the leadership bonus. Shit. That chance to hit is really fucking bad. What about a normal shot? It's still really bad. Although I can move a little bit. Let's, let's do that. Yeah. That way I'm not surrounded by enemies, plus I get the plus 10% chance to hit because I'm in cover. Okay, ooh, this, oh, she is gonna be able to tear them apart. Look at this. Yeah, three to time, motherfuckers.
and they still sound like zombies. You are not going to be able to do shit. You have a sniper, so you might be able to, although you have a horrendous height disadvantage. Let's move forward as much as possible. Nah, way out of range. It's like the camera's trying to figure out how to zoom out as much as possible. It's like, yeah, I don't, I, you don't have to see anything, just play it like this. It's like I'm up in the clouds staring down at my characters as little tiny ants, little black dots upon the surface of the earth. Yeah, it's just run up. As much as possible. Ooh. Oh, there goes my cover. Thankfully, their equipment is such. Thankfully, their equipment is such shit that their weapons keep jamming. Okay, now it's time to burst. Better chance to hit you. So you die, please. Thank you. You. Oh, come on. The cone's intersecting this guy here, but I can't even... Ah. Alright, it's gonna have to be two. Oh, actually, no, it can be three. Although, I'm gonna roll a 34% chance on each of the guys behind cover. So, not great, but... I'll take it. Okay, now we can start doing some nice damage. If I could double burst this guy, what's my chances from here? 61%? Eh. It's not great. Let's do this. Rat a tat tat. Okay, now we can actually hit people. 69. Oh, god damn it. I moved into a place where I can't shoot them. I moved too far forwards. Wonderful. Nice, Theodore. Even with that hat, that huge sombrero kind of hat, keeping the sun out of your eyes, you still can hit shit. The chance to hit is terrible. Well, there's no cover anymore. Almost got him. I guess if there's no cover, I might as well move somewhere where I can at least get a bonus to hit. Even if the plus to invasion is irrelevant because everybody's going to be shooting me from a place where that nullifies the cover. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Beautiful. Say hello to my genuinely little friend. That didn't kill him? What the fuck? It was six rounds. Ugh. That thing's gonna run out of ammo so fast. Ah! 
chance to hit is so bad. Alright, we need to move. We've got these mofos behind cover. Ah, if only I could move them right here. Let's just scare this guy out. Or, yeah, yeah. Actually, I can move him here. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, in fact, this guy's just dead. Three hit points. Come on, Theodore. This is your chance to redeem yourself. Good job, Theodore. Pentagon Weekly? Huh? Oh, shit. I totally forgot about Helen. Um... Sorry about that. You'll be fine. We're only gushing blood upon the ground in gigantic pools. Pools so wide and deep that we could swim in them. No big deal. Zeppi is totally overloaded. No wonder, look at all this crap. Seven pounds. Um, it's gonna have to be Helen. That carries some stuff, because she's not even close to overloaded. Now she is. Nah, uh, she's really close. Helen is... Okay, Helen's a lot further away from being overloaded than Pazepi. Pazepi's three pounds from being overloaded. So let's offload another seven pounds. There we go. I think we're good. I want to take a look at that Pentagon Weekly, though. Who did that go to? This month's trends in Homeland Security. Cool. Is that... Who is that? I don't know. It, I thought for a second that was a face I recognized, but I'm not sure if it is. It's too tiny to really tell. Anyway, I'm going to make my way back, and I'll be right back. Okay, let's go deliver our massive barrels of sludge. Watch, they're probably going to say, Hey, the price went up. It was um, interest that accumulated over, over time. Now you need seven barrels. Let's talk about tribute. Yep, here you go. Well done, rangers. You've completed the task we set for you. Please, enter the Temple of Titan. So it just updated. I'm hearing noises. Something updated. What updated? Maybe something disappeared? I, I don't know. Did something just resolve? Oh, pay tribute, right. Yep, we've given the monks all six canisters of goop, and we're finally in the temple. Well, no we're not, but... We've been given entrance to the temple.
Anything over here? Nope. Okay. Where's the temple? This don't look like a temple. Is the temple underground? Dr. Bomb. Amid the open area of the temple compound, you see a whitewashed wall with a red cross and an atom symbol on it. Assigned to one side of the opening reads Temple Clinic. This is the temple? It's just... Well, doesn't look special. Just an open area. This is not what I was picturing. Clean water? Sweet. Why is the doctor holding a knife and looking at me weird? Inside the tent is a small but neatly laid out medical clinic. Patients lie in cots along one wall. A desk and some supply cabinets sit along the other. And there is a large metal hatch in the floor at the far end, guarded by two silent and unmoving servants of the mushroom cloud. Checking on the patients is a fatherly looking man in monk's robes, who has a slightly distracted air. A fatherly looking man? You mean the man with the mask on, holding a knife? Okay. I wouldn't describe him as fatherly, but... Alright. There's something I wanted to try on. What was it? Monk's robe or something? There it is. Yeah, I don't think I want to wear that. You look exactly... Is, it, is this the same guy as the the crazed like saboteur that sabotaged the um what the hell is that place called the the place with the animals attacking the complex the, the plants he sabotaged everything and stuff I don't even remember the name of the place what the hell is it called well regardless it looks exactly like him except he has a hood on and a little bit less geeky Dr. Baum is squinting myopically at a clipboard, while his glasses sit on top of his head. Eh? Who's that? I... Sorry, have you seen a pair of spectacles, by any chance? They're on your head? Oh, my. Oh, that is embarrassing. Now then, that's better. Let's have a look at you. Oh, rangers. You're surprised to see us? We don't get many of you around here. Um, well, none, actually. But I remember the rangers from when I was growing up out west. Short-tempered, if I remember properly. Always shooting things up or getting yourself shot. No end of experience as I was learning my trade, that was for sure. This will be just like old times. What seems to be the problem, ranger? Uh, yeah, I guess can you heal us? That? That's just a scratch. Not worth the cost of bandages. Go have a drink and forget it. Anything else? Thanks for the... not help. Um... What's your name? I already know his name. Dr. Baum, I know it isn't Baum as in Boom, nor is it Baum as in Gilead. It's Baum as in B-A-U-M. As in... Are you saying it's pronounced differently, or just that it means something different? Is it Baum? Are you Dr. Baum? Sorry, I find it's best to get that out of the way right up front. Everybody asks. Now, what was it you needed? Uh, we're looking for Dr. Kyle's special services. I see. Very good. Then we must head down into the temple. Are you ready to go? Okay, so the actual temple proper is underground. Uh, not just yet. How are the patients doing? Hello, woman. Thanks, rangers. Thanks for what? Did I shoot you? Can I heal you? I can. 
but I would think the doctor would have already taken care of that. Hold on. I've actually got a level up here. Copy Ranger Chief. I'll just save his points. Okay, I can try to heal her. Let's see what happens. Let's hope I don't critically fail this one. That would be embarrassing. Come on, Theodore. Don't let us down. If you kill her, they're gonna kill us. Oh my god! The fuck, Theodore? <sighs> Alright, well, they don't care. Gotta get my experience somehow, right? <laughs> just, just keep trying, Theodore. You'll get better one of these days. Ah, oh, there we go. And she was the highest percent chance to actually succeed. And she's the one that critically failed. And the doctor doesn't even care. Like, we, <laughs> we just went over to one of his patients and just, like opened her up and started performing surgery and just, like, accidentally cut all of her arteries or something. And he's like, eh, alright. Shit happens. <sighs> it's what the rangers do. We're such good people. You look like a crazy motherfucker. You really do look like a crazy motherfucker. Looks like he's all suited up for Christmas. You're the rangers that broke Titan's peace. I don't know why they let, they let villains like you into the ordnance shed. What do you want? This is the ordnance shed? Is that why it's blown up and non-existent? What do you do here in the ordnance shed? This is where I make my patented nuke grenades and where I hand them out to my brothers. And no, sorry, they're not for sale to non-believers, so forget it. <laughs> That's fine, I don't want them. Uh, tell me about them, though. My children, my sweet, little, highly unstable children. Not for sale. Monks only. What do you think of the Desert Rangers? Those badges sure are pretty, but they don't mean anything here. Need any help? Huh, <laughs> you want to help me? You really want to crack the world's dirtiest job? Well, too bad. You blew your chance when you killed some close personal friends of mine. Now get out of here before I use some of my plentiful ordnance. Alright, fair enough. Father Enola. Welcome, Rangers. Rumors of your deeds have been reaching me ever since you entered our canyon. And though I can't say I've approved of all you've done, I've admired your skill and determination when called to action. And that's why I wanted to speak to you. I'm in need of skilled men just now, and I'm prepared to offer you a sizable reward if you're willing to do a little job for the servants of the Mushroom Cloud. Will you hear me out? Sure. And now his voice has disappeared from him. Thank you. Then let me tell you of our need. With our ability to summon Titan, we could, if we wished, blow up everyone in the canyon. But because of our faith and decency, we generally act with forbearance, even when pushed to the limit. There have been some brothers, however, who have lacked such decency. One such was a certain Brother Wright, who we exiled for trying to invoke Titan's wrath without reason. Brother Wright, was that the person that the, the drunkard crazy dude on the hill uh, said he, there, like there was a rumor that he ran away or something? We should have killed him outright, because now he's gone to Silo 7, 
and got himself a titan of his own. And we're afraid he's going to use it. On us. That is why we need you. Brother Wright must be stopped. And his titan brought to us for safekeeping. Do these two things, and titan will reward you with great gifts. What do you say? You want me to go get a nuclear weapon for you? How would I even transport it? They're kind of big. Can't just fit it in my pocket. Well, I, I do want control over any nuclear weapons. In the sense that I want to disable them and make sure that nobody else can use them, so... If there is a nuclear weapon out there and he intends to perhaps use it, then I definitely want to go there. Regardless of whether I'm going there to help the servants of the Mushroom Cloud or going there just to help humanity. So I'm going to say yes. Thank you. Titan bless you. Now let me give you the details. When we cast him out, Brother Wright fled east, towards the towns of Demonta. And it seems he found another silo there, Silo 7, with another Titan in it, just like ours. And ever since, he's been trying to get it working so he can take his vengeance upon us. We need you to go to Demonta, find Silo 7, kill Brother Wright, and bring the warhead to us for safekeeping. Here, let me give you the destination code that will send the warhead to us here. All you have to do is use the piloting console to send the rail car carrying the warhead to the temple by way of the rail line below Silo 7. The rest will take care of itself. Oh, so they just invented a ridiculous rail underground rail transport system to take care of the, the issue of transportation? Fair enough. I mean, I was hardly going to call, like, a towing service. So, I mean, what else can you do? Hmm. I have a lot of questions. Most of these I already know the answer to. Tell me more about Brother Wright. He's a fanatic, an extremist. More interested in killing than converting followers through peaceful means. But be wary. He can seem rational and reasonable when you first meet him. Charming, even. But everything out of his mouth is a lie. He will lie about us and our motivations, and about himself as well. In fact, it would be better to shoot first and ask questions later. Dead, he will tell no lies. Of course you'd like me to shoot first, because he probably has a lot of actually true things to say. Tell us about Silo 7. We know very little about it, other than it was built at the same time and for the same purpose as this one. We don't know what defenses Brother Wright may have built into it, or what forces he may have defending it. But he is a cautious man, so I would expect the worst. Why not just send some monks to take care of the problem? Well, as, uh, motivated as my brothers are, they have a somewhat, uh, limited grasp of tactics. Faced with a threat, they blow themselves up. This tends to make their first engagement with the enemy their last. Any operation that consists of a number of encounters would... Well, you see what I'm getting at. We need real fighting men, not human bombs. We need rangers. Yeah, they are kind of dumb, aren't they? Tell me about Demonta. A community to the east of the canyon. I know little about it. Okay. Okay, so I can ask about the mysterious men, aka the Diamondback Militia, without actually telling them what I know. So let's prod a little bit deeper. Have you heard about the mysterious men in the canyon? Yes. We are aware of this. Reports of similar activity have been increasing over the past few weeks. Particularly at this end of the canyon. We have sent some brothers to investigate. You need not concern yourselves with that. You are needed in Silo 7. 
Okay. Goodbye. Farewell, Rangers. May the blessings of Titan go with you. What the hell is this? Oh, that's a vault door. Jesus Christ, that thing is like three feet deep. Or three feet uh, thick. Actually, it's more like four or five, I think. Damn. Well, okay, there's a lot going on here. I don't want this episode to become two hours long, so I should probably stop here. You know, I was thinking in this episode I would finally get to the actual Temple of Titan, but I don't think I really have. I don't think this is actually the Temple of Titan, I think this is just above it. Because it sure don't look like no damn temple. Looks more like some mostly exploded buildings and a bunch of dust. But I have no doubt we're actually going to go down into the temple in the next episode. Yeah, this whole area, this whole Temple of Titan and the canyon and everything is just freaking huge. Everything is so big. I'm going to have to make some very important decisions here. But we shall save that for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.